Hi guys, it is Monday, January 20th, and we're going to try and win a Hearthstone game. We'll see how that goes. Switch to ranked. Um, so, this week's theme for Project Chronicle is history, and I wasn't really sure how what I was going to talk about. Um, I had some ideas, then I realized that some of them are really stupid. So, instead, today, while I... I'll meander around this week and try to figure out what more I want to do, but what I really wanted to do was talk about the big things that happened in the world <clears throat> in my in my lifetime. So I have a list of ten that I'm going to read from. I actually had to sit down and think because I was trying to think of the ten big things that happened that I remember influencing me, if you will. So we'll go through them as I try and play this game. Um, yeah, okay. So the first big one was... Uh, 9-11, um, which I shouldn't have to explain, but just in case, um, there was a terrorist attack on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon, and an attempted one of the White House on September 11, 2001, <coughs> excuse me, and what I remember most about that was I left for school and nothing had happened or maybe maybe one of them had hit and I was walking to school with a friend and we got to homeroom and I was in grade 7 at the time it was, it was just as I was starting grade 7 and we got into homeroom and we uh, we sat down and we watched the second tower either fall or get hit I can't remember the details but I remember we stayed in homeroom all day with the TVs on and we just watched. And the only other time we did that was when um, the Canadian, uh, I'm trying to think now, it was the, the either Winter Olympics of 02 or the Summer Olymp, yeah, it would have been the Winter Olympics of 2002. And the only reason I remember. <clears throat> that is because the TVs were never on unless we were watching something for um, school reasons like a video explaining something or what have you and my homeroom teacher was at that time um, our main science teacher and he was just full of information that none of us you know, none of us really understood world politics or terrorism at that point. And just to have someone explain it was really weird. I, I would have been 11. So yeah, at 11 years old, that was just bizarre. Um, the next big thing that I remember happening was um, when Deep Throat was revealed. So this one is kind of a weird one, I know. Um, but the reason was my parents were very much into movies of the era when All the President's Men came out and so I watched All the President's Men with them and I thought the story was neat and I obviously I didn't live it I was way too young and I was I wasn't even a thought then when Watergate happened um, I didn't really understand the whole thought process behind the movie but I enjoyed it I thought it was a good story and then I was away in Mexico and I came back home and my dad was explaining to me that this person had died and he had, they had revealed that he was Deep Throat and I didn't really know what that meant. And so he kind of explained how, in terms of the movie, how it all worked. Um, so that's another one I remember. Um, the one I have on here, I don't remember it happening, but I kn I remember the ramifications of it, which was Columbine. Um, I don't remember it happening. It didn't make uh, big news where I lived. Um, I'm sure it was on like the evening news and stuff, but I I don't remember it very well. Um, but what I remember most. is how it changed school shootings in terms of benchmarks. Like, 
when someone would talk about a school shooting, it's like, well, was it as bad as Columbine? And it seemed to me that whenever someone talks about a school shooting, it sh you should be focusing on that school and those people. I don't think that it's important to kind of wage and compare events like that. And that's kind of what I noticed when Columbine happened, was that there was this bizarre fascination with um, comparing and was it as bad as something else. And let's do... Um, so, yeah, that one. Um, I was four years old when Mandela was elected president, so I don't really remember it, but I remember um, hearing that he died. And I heard that he died when I was on my honeymoon, on my cruise. And there's a little printout of all the major stories, and they have it for um, every country of origin of someone on that ship. So there's a big stack of America ones, there's a small amount of Canadian ones. Um, <clears throat> A small amount of Norwegian ones, etc. And that was just the front page, Mandela dead at whatever age it was. And I didn't know much about Mandela, but what I did know, um, I respected him for. Um, and it was just, yeah, it was one of those big ones where you know it's big, and yet it doesn't really affect you because you're kind of of the wrong age. So. Try not to die this turn. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the next big one that I remember it was um, swine flu, H one N one, and how infuriated. Um, a lot of my how infuriated a lot of my uh, uh, friends were that um, nobody was talking about where it came from and nobody was talking about how you know, how there was this big, really, it was a big cover-up of where it originated from. And how just, yeah, a lot of people were really angry about that. And um, I'm not going to get into that because that's a, a whole other big debate. But suffice to say that... Uh, People were not, a lot of my friends were not happy about how we were getting all this information about it. And then suddenly, oh no, we were wrong. Hmm, even though we have evidence for it, we were obviously wrong. Anywho, um, another big one I remember was uh, Barack Obama being elected president of the US. Um, for you know obvious reasons, first, Afri first African American elected in a place where slavery it doesn't exist anymore but there's still a lot of racial tensions in that country and I think it was very very well for lack of a better word awesome that he got elected hmm Um, I remember Mother Teresa dying because I remember, um, I was not Catholic growing up, but I remember, um, a lot of, oh jeez, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm dead next turn, um, I remember a lot of 
people from my church, and again, not raised Catholic, I was raised um, Lutheran, um, being very sad because this is a woman that they greatly respected. So that I remember. Um, Princess Diana I remember because I watched, conversely that and the royal wedding I, I remember very strongly in terms of British things because I remember, um, really you're not going to attack me? Okay. I remember, um, Oh, I need to learn how to talk. Um, I remember watching this funeral in Saskatchewan with one of my mom's friends and not really understanding what was going on. And then later on watching all the hype for the wedding and remembering all the things that happened during that funeral. So that was kind of neat. Um, I remember when Hurricane Katrina happened because there was a lot of, it seems like all these are like full of controversy, but I remember there was a lot of, um, <coughs> Tadingo. Yeah. confusion and a lot of anger, um, with how it was handled and what happened and everything. It doesn't matter, you're dead anyway. Ah, ah. Um, a lot of confusion and anger with how it was handled and warnings and things like that. And then the follow-up, how angry people were that nothing had been done. Um, and the last thing I remember, I don't remember Dolly the Sheep being cloned, but I remember learning about it in science. And this was a very big deal to talk about. My Catholic school was very good because they talked about evolution and they talked about cloning and they talked about that kind of stuff that you would not expect a very religious school to talk about. Um, but I remember hearing about that and my science teacher saying, now, this happened, what do you think are the moral ramifications of it? And to be talked to, to be, and to talk about that in grade nine, so 2003, 2004, about a decade after it happened, was interesting to have a 13, 14 year old being asked, what do you think the ramifications are for cloning someone? Because it's not something you're gonna think about unless you're asked, usually. So yeah, those are the top 10 things that I remember happening um, in my 23, almost 24 years on the planet. Um, anywho, and I actually won a game, so that's exciting. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.